got some good power. Oh man, this thing is nice. I'm not even. Good morning and welcome back to Peter's Auto Vlog. This is Peter. In today's video, we're gonna get behind the wheel of this awesome 2024 Ford Ranger Raptor. Now, I'm very excited, guys, to get behind the wheel of this awesome off-road performance truck. Since there's quite a bit of competition, but I think this is probably one of the best bang for your bucks trucks you can get in this segment. But before we go on, I want to give a big shout out to Bartow Ford for allowing me some time with this Ranger Raptor. Big thank you to my friend Tim, and I'm going to put all their information and a link to their website in the description below. Hey ladies and gentlemen, here we have this 2024 Ford Ranger Raptor. What an awesome looking truck, especially in this Oxford White, which really accents all the graphics and all the details and the extended fender flares that this truck offers. Of course, you know, the Ranger Raptor is uh, it's in a very, very competitive segment, especially in this mid-sized truck. Of course, we got the new Toyota Tacoma Tier. The Pro, and of course, also the Trail Runner. You also got, you know, GMC's Colorado ZR2, a Bison version. So there's quite a bit of competition in this segment. But I think Ford right now is probably doing the best, and especially bang for the buck in terms of truck. Coming around this uh, Ranger Raptor, you can see the styling; it's really awesome. We got a different hood with some uh, air extractors that are actually functional in this truck. As you can see, guys, in the front here, we got your new front grill with the Ford lettering extended, with the front camera there as well. Now here at the bottom, we got your front bash plate. As you can see, they're protecting the front. We got some sensors there as you can see as well. LED fog lights, LED headlights, you can see the performance LED headlights with your daytime running that's here in the shape of a C. Really good looking truck. I think this is probably one of the best ones here in the segment in, segment in terms of style. And of course, here this bumper right here is also done in metal as part of that uh, enhanced off-road package that this Ranger Raptor offers. I really love the graphics there as well. As you can see that those graphics are really, really right, and especially in this Oxford white, uh, just really looks good. Now here, as you can see, we got the extra extended fender flare on this Ranger Raptor. As you can see, that really looks cool to extend this 33 inch wheels that are 285 millimeters wide. We have another air extraction right there, but this is not functional. This is more just for looks. Now, as you can see, guys, we got your running board as well here. This is basically a fixed running board, which has the name Raptor on it, which comes also from the Ranger, from the F-150 Raptor. Now, as you can see, guys, this is a crew cab with a five and a half foot bed. This is the only way you can get your four Ranger Raptors. Uh, I really love the way it looks. The truck is just smaller, but just seems like it's like a shrunk F-150 Raptor. You still got your body painted mirrors with your LED turn signals. You can see no sunroof on this one. No sunroofs are offered in the Ford Rangers for 2024 or this new generation. Coming in the back, as we got the Raptor graphics, as you can see there, we got the same 33 inch wheels here in the back. Coming here in the back, we got your LED tail lights. Really nice the way that looks. We also got a little more modular bumper here with mud and metal. For the rear, as you can see, we got your tow hooks, we got your exhaust tips as well. This also has a performance exhaust, exhaust on this Ranger Raptor. We got your four batch with the rear camera, more graphics here in the side. You see, we got the Raptor name here as well. Just looks, it really looks good. I love the way of the structure just pops, especially in this white, just makes it look much more special. Uh, I love the wheel design as well. These are specific to this Ranger Raptors. Now, um, in terms of the performance of this Ford Raptors, of course, these are tuned for off road, and we got quite a bit of different suspension setup than the regular Ranger. Here in the very front, as you can see, guys, we got those 33 inch BF Goodrich KO3 all terrain tires. These are 285 millimeters in width with a 17 inch wheel. It's a really nice, specific Ford Ranger Raptor wheels. Now for a suspension, we got a aluminum or a forged aluminum double A-arm suspension in the front, quite different from the regular Ranger. And of course we got those Fox live valve shocks and 2.5 inch in diameter. These are racing shocks basically on all four corners. Those are the same shocks. And if you raise this up, because we, also, we also, of course, we got the skippers all over the truck with your transfer case and your gas tank as well. Here we got your fixed running boards. As you can see, they just got the name Raptor. These are basically the same ones they use on the Ford Ranger or the F-150 Raptor, sometimes even in the Bronco Raptor there as well. You can see we got body painted mirrors with your LED turn signals. Uh, these are not functional, as I mentioned before. These are just basically static uh, air vents, as you can see there. Uh, four doors, you can see coming here, guys. We got some of the rest of the graphics here. As you can see, there's a really nice graphics. I love that the way the, the white us on the graphics. Same wheel and tire package here in the back, but here in the back, we got a Watt Lynx rear suspension, which is a little bit different than the regular suspension on the regular Ranger. So, quite a bit of different suspension. You can see we got some of the exhaust right there. This does have a performance live valve exhaust, which kind of changes. Uh, tone depending on the mode you are but fantastic looking wheel entire package really love the way this thing just looks now here in the back we got your led taillights which are really nice the way they are really nice we also got some sensors here 
as well. Now let's kneel down here for a second. As you can see, guys, we got the bumper. These are also done in steel, the same as the front. These are kind of modular, of course, off-road bumpers. Here we have your exhaust, which are nice and aluminum to finish. You can see that this is basically an active exhaust, which sounds definitely depending on the mode you are. You got your receiver hitch ready to go as well. Now on this Ford Ranger Raptors, you cannot tow as much as a regular ones here. You're only allowed to tow 5,500 pounds on these Ranger Raptors compared to the 7,500 pounds that you can tow under regular Rangers, but that's just a little bit different, of course, because of the suspension and everything else. Okay, you're in uh, Ranger here and stepped on the door. We got your black Ford badge right there, as you can see there with a the rear camera. I wish Ford would have used the newer Ford badges. I think they would left a little much more modern. And let's go ahead and open up the rear door here, as you can see that this is basically a dampened door, which is nice, nice and softly down. So here we have your five foot bed, which is a pretty good size, especially for a mid size truck. You got your power rear window. Uh, we got no protection on this truck, but that's easily taken care of, of course, if you want to go do a, a spray and bed liner. We got plenty of uh, tow downs and hooks around, as you can see, not a lot, but I'm sure you can definitely get some more into the system or into this truck bed. Now, here on the left hand side, we got a 120 volt home connection and also a 12 volt connection. Uh, there's uh, no other exterior lighting. I see sometimes lighting comes out of this one. I don't know, I don't know if this one has it or not, but I know there's some exterior lighting that comes here from this two middle lights here as well, besides the light coming from the rear. In terms of uh, payload capacity on this Ford Ranger Raptors, you're looking at about 1300 pounds that's a bit lower than the regular ranger but of course because of obvious suspension but i'm going to put all those stats for you guys up on the screen but it's about 1300 pounds of payload capacity but uh, there you go guys here's the back of this uh ranger wrap let's go ahead and uh, lift the bed door here and it's pretty light as you can see there and there we go so let's go ahead and see what's under the hood of this Ford Ranger wrap. Let's go ahead and open up our hood here. We got no hydraulic assistance. I don't know why Ford wouldn't put a little bit on it, especially with this price range, but we gotta get a hood prop here and get this up, a little stick here up and stick it where it's indicated there. And here we have your three liter EcoBoost twin turbo V6. Obviously not the prettiest engine in terms of a lot of hoses and stuff like that, but it is a really nice engine overall. Love the little Ford Performance decal right here, as you can see there. In terms of horsepower, we got 405 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. This is, of course, going to a 10-speed automatic transmission with the paddles here in the back of the of the steering wheel. And also, of course, we got the 4x4 system in this with locking front and rear differentials and all kinds of modes where you can play around and just, you know, have fun in this truck. So fantastic power plant. Uh, this is basically the same power plant as in the Bronco Raptor. Of course, the same power plant as in the Explorer ST as well. You know, proven power plant so here in terms of fuel economy you're looking at about 16 in the city 18 on the highway so this is not exactly your fuel efficient power plant but it's got 20 20 gallons of uh, fuel that you can put in this truck so it should be pretty decently in terms of fuel amount like economy in terms of between fill ups but it should be a good engine overall guys but pretty powerful engine sounds good as well with the exhaust as we hear it and let's go ahead and bring down our hood and let's bring put our hood where it belongs and there we go and before we go inside let's go ahead and take a quick look at the sticker of this ford ranger raptor now of course as you can see it guys a little bit of reflection here i'm actually going to put the sticker for you guys up on the screen so you can see it much better but here we have a 2024 ford ranger in oxford white uh this one started about fifty five thousand six hundred and twenty dollars the only options on this ranger raptor are the ranger graphics that you can see for 750 which is a fantastic deal and 95 dollars for the little keypad in the very side of the driver's side for a total price of fifty-eight thousand sixty dollars for this ford ranger so as you can see that's pretty good amount of money but you get quite a bit of truck as well as you know you got basically 90 95 percent of what a regular f-150 raptor can do but in a smaller package probably a little bit more fuel efficient in terms of pricing fifty eight thousand dollars is probably the best deal you can get right now in this mid-size trucks considering that tacoma trd pro is about sixty six thousand dollars and that's without any market adjustments so depending on what you check but this is probably one of the best trucks you can get right now especially for an off-road truck version in the market let's go ahead and take a quick look at the interior back seat of this ranger now as you can see guys really nice the way this interior is set up especially with in this raptor versions you got a nice uh, soft uh, leather here as you can see they're really nice the way that is still a bit of plastic here but not too bad we got no type of gloss black or nothing like that really nice the way all this is as you can see there coming here to the interior guys as you can see we got your rubber floor mats we got also as i mentioned your your running board there as well but coming here to the inside guys you can see we got a really nice orange accents on this interior we got a bit of combination of leather and alcantara there as well which is really fantastic look at that orange accent right there as you can see there you see the contrast stitching they're done in orange really really good seating here of course you can also erase these seats up as well just as regular functions as a regular ranger so as you can see there the seats also pop front and we also have a center armrest as you can see there with some cup holders 
that's a very nice detail here in the middle we got just a bit of extra storage and we got a 12 volt or 120 volt connection and usb ports there as well uh here a bit of course as i mentioned here we got your rear power window here in the very front we love the torn stitch and really because i really like the way this interior feels really nice and soft let's go ahead and get inside a little bit i wish they would have offered here a grab handle but this they don't offer a grab handle even though this is not a very tall vehicle but a little grab handle would have definitely helped out here we are in the back of this ranger raptor as you can see it's really nice interior love the way all these orange accents the big 12 inch screen here all the uh in you know, the middle gauge here. they're just really Ford did a great job with distinguishing this interior from the regular rangers so you can see guys no sunroof offer on this rangers for 2024 i wish they did but uh, they don't offer them now here are the seats where it would normally be and i got about an inch left or so considering i was in the toyota tacoma not too recently and it was really short i couldn't even get in it so definitely the ford ranger has much more rear room than the tacoma for example uh, but really nice interior as i mentioned we got the usb ports and all that here in the middle we got some also some extra uh, mats here that this truck comes with it's just a brand new really nice for the ford has done uh, let's go ahead and uh, get to the front coming here to the driver's side of this ford ranger raptor as you can see guys we got that 95 dollar keypad which just allows you if you want to just leave your keys inside the truck while you're at the beach or going cycling you pop in your card and you can leave the keys and just pop in your card back on open it up we got comfort access as well and we also got folding mirrors and we also got blind spot detection there as well and of course you see your led turn signal there as well let's go ahead and uh, open up our door and coming here to the door as you can see it's very much similar to the back but we got a, quite a bit of difference here we got a nice uh kind of alcantara looking material which really looks fantastic and feels really really good we got a bit of a kind of kind of home finished here on the accents you can see we got the rest of it the rest of it's in leather plenty of pocket space to put your things here as you can see there are no gloss black anywhere at all which is fantastic we got your power window controls here your mirrors all that and we also got a three-way memory for your seats as you can see there for performance splash plate right here as you can see which is a little nice touch got rubber floor matting controls for all your lights here as you can see there we got an orange accent on the air vent with a little bit of a gloss black but not very much you know actually you're touching this but that's a really nice little touch there we got your little bit of a pocket right there as you can see they're manually tilting in telescope and steering wheel we also got a bit of orange stitching there as you can see there with a ford raptor there with dark metallic material there with also a little bit of orange little the kind of race car looking steering wheel as you can see there which is very nice we got your paddles there as well coming here to the seats we got the really nice a uh, little more heavy bolstering on these seats as you can see guys really nice i love these seats are real comfortable as well love the alcantara touch the leather the orange accents and the wrapped running right there just really looks like a quality seat with that ford i really put some time in the of course the details of the seating as you can see they're really nice truck as you can see guys uh let's go ahead and uh jump inside and here we are inside of this ranger raptors interior as you can see it's really nice the way everything just feels uh definitely a little more upscale interior uh you get that mix of uh you know when i would say race car but that mix of you know the alcantara the orange accents you definitely feel that you're in something special not just any regular ranger especially at this price but uh ford did a good job in terms of all the uh the terminal just feels fantastic we get perforated leather really nice uh, in terms of, of its uh feel and just the accents the uh the alcantara feeling just literally makes it feel that much special especially like the accents on the upper dash there as well as you can see there now one little detail that i kind of miss is that we have no grab handle here i love to help you up into the truck you have to kind of grab the steering wheel even though this ford ranger raptor is not super tall say it's a regular f-150 raptor you still need a little extra assistance and especially here in the rear as well uh for your passengers i think that'll be a little nice touch we're missing two more of those but other than that it's not a bad interior let's over than that let's go ahead guys and that's where inside let's go ahead and start up this ford ranger foot on the brake our little start start button is right over here get all our screens started let's check see we got dual 12.3 inch screens or 12.4 inch screens here as you can see there the raptor 4 performance version right here really awesome the way all these graphics look especially with the orange accents as well and before we close the door let's go ahead and hear this twin turbo v6 now this one here does have a performance valve active valve exhaust depending on the mode you are it's going to sound differently uh, right now we're on regular mode let's go ahead and see if we can put this thing to sport so we can open up the exhaust a little bit and let's go ahead and hear we can hear this exhaust here oh that sounds so good very good sounding exhaust of this v6 let's go ahead and close the door so now that we have the door closed and the uh, AC is blowing nice and cool, we got a really nice weather in Florida right now. We're in about lower 80s, so but it's still quite a little bit hot today uh, in terms of. But the humidity is quite low, not not as not as hot as it used to be. Uh, but checking out guys, the interior of this Ranger just really nice the way Ford did, especially on this Ram Raptor version. You can see it got plenty of visibility. Love all the accents on the seat, just to feel good, nice and quality. Of course, we got that kind of Alc Alcantara feel. Uh, makes the truck feel just a little more, you know, kind of on the sporting side. Not saying like a Porsche or something like that, but 
just gives it a little extra quality that you're in something special and i really like that about this truck quite different than the regular rangers you can see guys so we love that like interior material we got that orange stitching on the uh orange accent excuse me on the ac vent we got a bit of a kind of like a homey home interior finish there on the part of the accents of the interior as you can see we got that extra storage space uh, cloth box right there as you can see there now if you guys follow my channel you know that i recently reviewed another ranger uh, which was a 2.7 liter lariat version if you want to check out a little more details on that interior please go ahead and see that channel that review guys so here and overall in terms of what includes in this ranger raptors you got of course as i mentioned the orange accents we got the 12 inch vertical screen here with apple carpet android auto all the connections you want of course you got also an off-road screen here if you press the little button here on the bottom we got your front camera with directory nice as you can see there part of this um ranger raptor thing we also got a lot of graphics for off road as you can see there you can kind of switch to go through your different modes and different like your rear front all kinds of things you can switch out here in your screen once you're one rolling out so really awesome the way all this what includes for this ford ranger let me turn that off for you guys there but as you can see guys here we got a dual sony ac we got heated seats we do have a heated stereo if i'm correct no cool seats a lot of people ask why no cool seats but i believe they're just kind of reserved for the f-150 raptors or the ones over there uh here in the bottom we got a wireless charging port usb ports 10 speed automatic you got here your cup holders of course here you got your driving modes we got four too high four high four low and four automatic we got a button here for trailering and of course as i mentioned before we got the different basically your different uh drive modes we got sport we got trailer and we got over here on the all the way on the left here to switch into four wheel drive here but if we go here to the left uh we got one more which is basically slippery uh going back to the right and really nice graphics as you can see there now of course going here back to the to all the way to the right we got normal also got off-road baja and the last one is rock and cross so you got quite a bit of different settings as you can see there depending on the mode you run you're going to have different exhausts and of course different graphics to display depending on your nice shift into 4x4 of course you can see there now down here you guys just finishing off parking brake you got your parking assistance we got your traction control button and we have your auto on and start for the engine once you come to a light of course we're going to touch this off-road terrain in your button here uh nice speakers up we also got a 10 speaker bang and awesome system in this truck which sounds fantastic that's part of the option that comes standard with this truck as well as you can see there uh, all kinds of things we also got ambient lighting all the things that come with this truck so as you can see there and coming here to the steering wheel as you can see guys we got a really nice steering wheel really nice thick and perforated i love the uh, orange stitching as you can see there we got your little kind of a symbol here like a race car steering wheel really nice the way that is now, of course here we got the paddles here in the back to want to change your 10-speed transmission manually and we're a little on gas uh coming here guys in the bottom we got controls here for your cruise control here on the left hand side and of course controls for all the things that you can basically configure on a, basically more of a customized figuring of course when you go off road and of course that's how much you get all, all types of uh here we got all types of uh measurements you can do there we can go kind of back and you can put any type of information here up to status all kinds of things you can do but also you guys you can see we got the r basically here on the steering wheel because you can definitely just put r and control your mobile settings or remote settings you can all customize in the way you are you control the steering wheel as well you also got an active, active exhaust that you can do we can put it in sport as well as you can see there so all kinds of modifications in the way you can customize all your settings in the truck which is a very good thing to have and it's an awesome thing which just makes it that much more special as you can see guys. so pretty nice interior as you can see there this is a 12.4 inch uh digital screen the same here as the one but this one here is vertical as you can see they're not as big but really good what ford did with in terms of everything here the way this laid out the way the steering feels this is also manually adjustable as you can see there as well so just an excellent interior of what ford has done uh, there's no blue cruise or anything like that in this trucks but you get at least adaptive cruise control and uh, of course you get an off-road most control there as well all right let's go ahead and go out for a test right? let's go ahead and put our uh, transmission in reverse for a little bit check out the rear camera as you can see guys we got a 360 degree camera there as well in the system uh we got all kinds of camera angles you can see there to check out your graphics but uh it's pretty cool to have obviously we got the reverse camera which direction as you can see the very clear graphics as you can see there let's go ahead and guys then go forward so we are in uh check it out we are in sport mode we switch all our sensors and everything in on sport we got also the exhaust valve a little more open in uh, in the sport mode as well let's go ahead guys and head out just love the way this feels this definitely feels way different than the lariat 2.6 liter that i drove this feels uh, feels firmer feels i don't know feels a lot more i don't know the it's probably the steering wheel as well but man it seems like it feels more direct um wow really nice this feels right off the bat it just feels quite different it feels more special to me to be honest uh let's go ahead and head this way here 
Now, obviously, what I like about this Ranger Raptor is obviously they're smaller. I just got out, I just drove uh, last week the 4150 Tremor, which has got the special suspension, but it's quite a much bigger truck. Obviously, this truck is fantastic if you want to go off road because it's got a smaller, you know, body. Of course, it's much smaller, not as big as an F 150. Uh, so this one gives you quite a bit of difference in size. You know, you can put this in the garage, uh, be in a much nicer, but um, wow, it sounds really nice. Wow, this thing just feels great. I mean, even though it has a pretty direct steering wheel, even with this 33 inches, wow, really impressive the way this truck feels. All right, let's go out this way. Nice smooth acceleration, really smooth engine transmission. You can't even feel the shifts. Wow, very impressed with this uh, Ranger Raptor so far. Kind of feels right about the same as an F-150 Raptor, of course, in a much smaller scale. But wow, this thing feels good. It feels the steering is pretty direct. Yeah, it feels playful. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, that's kind of a butt of a body roll, but that's what you expect of this type of trucks. Very minimal windows, even though today is a bit windy. Um, no road noise from the tires. A little bit of uh, wind from the A-pillars, but not much really, to be honest. Still doing about 65. Uh, as you can see, we got the wind blowing in out there. But wow, this feels great. Feels direct. Feels definitely, I would say it feels, uh, you know, like a Porsche E3, but for the road, this thing just feels fantastic, to be honest. The exhaust is right note. I haven't floored it yet. It's new truck. It's only got uh, 45 miles on it. Uh, so it's still a brand new truck. It's a f I know I've seen already some few Rangers delivered to customers, but this is the first one I see in stock. So big thank you again to Barto Ford for allowing me some time in this Ford Ranger. Uh, everything looks great, fantastic. Love the 12 inch gauges. The stairs, you know, the uh, gauges look nice and clear. Love the stream with this kind of little race car, you know, little um, orange accent there, right there, which is fantastic. In terms of the brakes, Brakes feel good. We got 12.2 inch rotors kind of all around. Uh, I don't know if I don't think Ford puts any special pads on this. They should a little bit. They should actually put some Ford pistons on this girls for what they're charging. No money coming. It's going to give it just a little bit of acceleration, guys, here. got some good power man this thing is nice i'm not even putting the floor to the f the pedal to the floor but man this thing's got some good power and it sounds fantastic too wow i'm very impressed kind of a mix of between explorer st and uh you know f-150 raptor kind of a mix in between there but it sounds really really good this one in sport mode so the exhaust valve is open up a little more uh, wow, what a great truck. Obviously, you're right in here, and the big, big difference, for example, in between an F-150 and this, you kind of feel like you're in a big SUV, a smaller SUV than, you know, being in a big truck. This definitely feels like you're not taking up the whole road. And as you can see, you got some of the, uh, you're going to see some of, uh, a lot of uh, fence damage and trees on a lot of tree branches on the road. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had Hurricane Milton basically come through this area. This is where the hurricane, of the center hurricane came through. Not a ton of damage, I think, but there's quite a bit of trees that you're going to see here in the Little more closer so i'm not going to be spinning through here but coming back to the ranger raptor fantastic truck uh you know front and rear lockers uh, unfortunately i'm going to take it off road you know i would say probably 70 percent of this ranger raptor is going to be driven on the road uh maybe some light off truck duty but you know here in the floor there's some places you can take it but not plenty enough uh but still a fantastic truck if you want to take it up north great amount of power lots of ability i think this is probably 90 percent 95 percent of the same ability as a f-150 raptor and of course you also got the tunable uh new package that ford performance just introduced for you can put this up to 455 horsepower and i think 530 pound feet of torque i'll put some of those figures for you guys up on the about that i don't know what it costs I've, i don't I think i've mentioned that but you can definitely pump up the the you know the power on this thing quite a bit in terms of turning, they feel pretty light. This thing just turns light and it just grabs. I mean, wow, this thing just feels fantastic. Yeah, she feels light. Wow, man, it feels good. This thing is pretty impressive. 
that's the way this feels though. The steering's got a nice specialty. Now remember that this does have a special steering rack in this Ranger Raptor, not, not like the regular Ranger. So you got a much more direct, definitely much more, uh, you can definitely feel a lot more of what the front steering is doing than the other regular Rangers. Yeah, this is, yeah, wow, this is, I'm impressed. Man, I think I probably like this better than the Ford F-150 Raptor, to be honest. This is a smaller package. Uh, you know, just feels that much more, feels special, but man, just in this smaller package just gives it that extra just feeling to this thing. And you can see the downshift automatically here in sport mode. Wow, this thing is just very nice. Wow, I'm impressed with this truck. Oh, that was a big, oh, there was a hole there. Wow, very nice. Very, very nice the way this Ranger Raptor feels. Very impressive. Oh, we got a big trucks here. Let's go ahead and switch to regular mode. I'm gonna put back to normal. Let's go ahead and go. Yeah, the aggressiveness got cut off a little bit and a little bit small. Not not as not as uh, quiet as I should. Have done. I thought it was gonna be like, but wow, pretty good though for sure. But wow, guys, let me know. Let me know what you think of this Ford Ranger Raptor. Fantastic truck, really goes well. Uh, plenty of power. Uh, just handles good. The brakes feel good. Uh, it just feels way lighter than and it, and this one just turns. Just I mean, I'm surprised how fun this thing feels. Wow, very impressed. Um, Wow, excellent truck for fifty-eight thousand dollars. I think this is one of the best bang for your buck trucks you can get. Uh, yeah, really awesome, awesome off-road truck. In conclusion, I think it's a fantastic truck. Feels good. It feels special. It feels just, you know, with this interior the way this is, it just definitely you know makes it that you're buying something special for sure. But um, alright, guys, thank you for making this far into the video. Really appreciate it. Thanks so much for being here with me and uh, let me know in the comments guys give me a like give me a comment and i appreciate every one of you here being with me here and we'll see you guys in the next video take care bye bye